y'all i don't think i understand how much i missed doing this even though it hasn't been that long i mean it's been about a week or two but i'm gonna just go ahead and get started because i've procrastinated on this video long enough okay you guys cue the intro I'm walking with God, I don't need a drink The devil be talking, I don't entertain I'm walking in faith, I'm so on my seat I did it in faith, I gave it to God And he made it great, put me in good soil And took out the snakes it's Brooklyn and I'm back once again with another YouTube video so as you guys can tell from the title I'm going to be telling you guys some things that I have learned while being in college it's crazy to think that I'm already almost about to wrap up my sophomore year of college I'm about to be a junior y'all after this semester like it's just so crazy how time is flying I was thinking about some videos to make as far as on the school related side because I've already done a college freshman advice with my friends I did a video talking about what to know before coming to Virginia State so I did want to give you guys another video that kind of gave some advice and words of wisdom pertaining to college for those of y'all who have not seen this face before hi my name is Brooklyn I give you guys content that talks about my faith as a believer in Jesus Christ but I also give you guys school related content specifically HBCU related content music advice videos vlog videos that just give you guys a glimpse of my life for those of y'all who have not already do not forget forget to hit that subscribe button make sure you guys like comment and turn on those post notifications so that way you guys will not miss out on any uploads also do not forget to follow me on my socials which are up here and down below as usual so without further ado let's get on started hey hey get on started hey hey Okay, so I have my notes on my iPad. We're just gonna go ahead and get started. The first thing that I learned while being in college is you do not have to bring your entire closet. One, first of all, before coming to college, some people were saying bring as many clothes as you want. And then I heard some people say don't bring that much stuff. Bit of a testimony. Freshman year, I literally brought almost my entire wardrobe and half of them clothes I did not wear. Either I wore them once or I didn't wear them at all. And then on top of that, let's be real. You're gonna wanna go shopping while you're in school. You're gonna get more clothes while you're there so it's very important that you bring business casual attire so like that's kind of on the side of church attire church attire and business casual they kind of go hand in hand and then you know clothes that are appropriate for the weather so if it's summer during summer you know bring your sundresses and shorts and whatever you want to wear fall and winter that's when you start bringing in your sweaters your coats your hoodies etc for shoes too like I wore most of my shoes but some of them I didn't wear I feel like when you bring too much clothes it makes it harder for you when you move out because you have all the clothes you brought and then on top of that you have the clothes that you bought while being in school so you're gonna bring home more stuff and sometimes y'all it can be the biggest headache so it's just very important that you guys don't bring your entire closet bring the clothes that you know that you know that you know you're gonna wear so the next thing that I've learned while being in college is the friends you make in the group chat don't always last outside of the group chat <laughs> and it's funny because I literally saw so many TikToks and reels on Instagram that talked about this but it's so true I know for a lot of school they have group chats where you can talk to people in your same class that are coming in at the same time as you just so that you can get acquainted to each other and kind of meet people before coming to school because let's be real it is really hard coming into college without knowing anybody especially for those who live out of state for my personal experience first of all group chats can be very overstimulating and that's something I learned a group chat with too many people it gets so overstimulating I literally had to shut my phone down because not only was I glued to my phone but it was also making me overstimulated At that moment I was like okay maybe super big group chats aren't for me now sometimes they were fun and then sometimes they got a little out of hand when I tell y'all we were planning on meeting up we were like we're gonna meet up we're gonna hang out and then literally first semester the group chat basically just fell off y'all just kind of ghosted each other we would literally see each other around on campus and some people would speak and some people just wouldn't even speak it just got to a point where things just kind of fell off and it just happens honestly and then eventually the group chat disbanded. There's no hard feelings. There's no bad blood It just again happens that way. Sometimes it just works out that way So the next thing I learned while being in school is it is okay to be a believer and have a fulfilling college experience I could do a whole separate video talking about this But I feel like no offense But there are people who I would say kind of force their convictions on others in a way where just because that might be your conviction That might not be everybody else's conviction. You know what I'm saying now what I'm not saying is as believers We should just be out here doing Doing any and everything that's not what I'm saying we should definitely have not just decorum but also wisdom and discernment to know what spaces are cool to be in and what spaces aren't cool for us to be in God could be telling you hey I don't want you to 
go to this party. But then sometimes, you know, if they're having a little shindig on campus, it might be cool. And for me personally, I kind of mentioned this in another video of mine. Going to the on-campus stuff is more for me. It's, you know, homecoming, spring fling, like events like those and like maybe other events they have. I haven't been to an off-campus party. Yes, you can still be a Christian and still have, you know, a fulfilling college experience. College is an experience. If you want to, you know, go out with your friends, hang out with your friends, go out to eat, go shopping, join organizations on campus, join clubs, go to a gym jam here and there, you know, like get out there. You don't have to be secluded in your room all the time. I will say it is highly important that we are mindful of the spaces we are in because the spaces we are in can have a strong effect on us. Definitely, you know, take it up with God and ask him, you know, like, hey, is it cool to go to this party or should I fall back and do something else? And you know, there's other things to do on campus than just go to parties. But, like college is an experience, but it's important that we are still using wisdom and discernment. So the next thing that I learned while being in college is discipline is key. It really takes so much discipline, especially with your academic. There's going to be times where you don't feel like studying. You don't feel like going to exercise. There's going to be times where you just don't feel like it, but it really does take, you know, sacrifices. Of course, you know, you might feel like, dang, like I just want to chill and eat and sleep and just do nothing. But sometimes it's like, no, I need to, you know, get up and practice my sport or practice my music or get in my books and study. Like sometimes you really have to make up in your mind, you know, I'm going to choose to do this even if I don't want to. Mental health is definitely important. So definitely take that into consideration. Time management is a biggie. You're going to hear that so much when you come to college, but it really is important. And then as a believer, it's even more important because you have to balance your spiritual life, your social life, your academic life. You really have to be smart about not biting off more than you can chew and also being mindful of what you are prioritizing. And there are people around to help you if you are struggling with these things. You know, definitely have people in your circle that can hold you accountable. And even if you know some faculty that can help you out, definitely utilize that too. Closed mouths don't get fed. You have not because you ask not, right? It's important that you are definitely speaking up when you need help with something. Oh, and that segues into my next point. Speaking up is necessary. Don't let people walk all over you. It's kind of two-sided. So of course, yes, speak up when you need help. But also if something is bothering you or you really have to say something or something is just off, speak up. If somebody offends you, it is okay to say, I hurt my feelings. I didn't really like what you said. We want to be adults so bad when it comes to accountability. People want to shy away from it. When it comes to being vocal about our feelings and our emotions, people don't want to do that. And I know we go through things that prevent us from doing those things but this is what growing up is all about growing up requires us to have hard conversations doing things that may not feel comfortable college has definitely tested me in this area especially during my freshman year don't let people take advantage of your kindness because people will do that oh, oh she's so sweet and she's so nice and so I can just say or do anything I want and she's not gonna say nothing because one day let's be real they're gonna meet their match and so listen be careful who you talk about be careful who you walk all over and don't let anybody walk all over you. The next thing that I've learned while being in college is rest is essential. Before I got to college, I wasn't really taking naps like that. But when I got to college, the amount of naps I would take, I saw this TikTok. People in high school skipped class just to skip. In college, most of us are skipping class to take a nap. And honestly, let's be real, I have done it before. Most people in college have done it. Like they'll literally not go to class to take a nap. I know how it feels to be running on E and to go to class and to go to orgs and do all of this stuff and you are exhausted it is so hard there is a difference between getting sleep and getting rest you know how you go to sleep and you wake up and you still feel tired that's because you are getting sleep and you're not getting rest and so it's very important that we are utilizing rest and that we are not exhausting ourselves because you cannot run on an empty cup and you know allow God to pour into us too. definitely take that time to take care of yourself and to just rest and relax okay this one all of these are important but this one is a heavy hitter it is so important to be mindful of who you share your plans with. So there are people who you share your plans with them and they'll either try to shoot them down or talk yourself out of it and they'll just put stuff in your ear that make you second guess. And even I'm gonna get on the spiritual side for a minute too. If you know that the Lord has given you a dream or if you know that the Lord has given you a message, you really have to be mindful because if you know that this is something that the Lord has placed on your heart, whether they have good intentions or not, try to talk you out of it because you don't know what they could be doing behind your back. But let's be real, people backbite and they talk about people and people can just be really malicious you just never know not everybody has your best interest at heart people be weird the next thing that I learned while being in college is communing with believers is so important while being in college honestly if I didn't have the circle of believers that I have in my life currently I don't know how my college life would be it's so important and I know
know it is very challenging sometimes and it's very difficult to find that Christian community while being in college but if you really seek it out and if you ask God to give you Christian friends he will supply you with them like I prayed for Christian friends before and while I was in school and he definitely put some people in my path that spoke life into me that I knew that could pray for me that pushed me into my purpose and I highly suggest you know if there's a church near your campus that you can go to or if there's a church on your campus definitely visit a few Sundays you know get acclimated with the congregation and the people that attends college is not easy all the time you really need that community around you so this next one is a bit touchy but at the same time it just needs to be said it is okay to be pure while being in college let's let's just let's let's just go ahead and get into it okay I'm gonna be completely honest and transparent so before I came to school there were a lot of people who either lost their virginity before coming to college or was planning on losing their virginity while being in college I already made up in my mind like I was not really rolling like that because I just feel like that's not who I am and I'm not saying this to sound judgmental because I know this can be a very touchy subject and so I just know deep down in my heart that that's the right thing to do I'm, I'm gonna be real like I just don't feel comfortable giving myself away to just any old body it's very important to know that it is okay to be pure while being in college because let's be real in college people want to explore they want to try new things they want to do some people you know do the do like let's just be real some people start becoming sexually active but there were times where I was made to feel like me maintaining my purity while being in school was weird or there were people who literally who literally let me know that it is okay and that I was not by myself there's beauty in it I definitely just want to let you guys know that it is okay to maintain your purity while being in college is not something to be ashamed of okay the next thing that I've learned while being in school is saving money is so important I feel like sophomore this sophomore year this has been the year that that I have spent the most money on food. Like, I have spent so much money on food. Between clothes and food. Because listen, let's be real, you know, you out with your friends, y'all wanna go out to eat, y'all wanna, you know, make a midnight run to cookout or McDonald's or going to school, you're gonna need a little something something before, you know, the semester begins because you have, you might have books to pay for and course requirements you might have to pay for. Spring fling, homecoming, you're gonna wanna buy a new outfit for those events. These are things that you're gonna wanna spend money on. And so it's very important that you save money even while being in school try to use your meal swipes instead of going out to eat some people don't like their food at the calf but would you rather be broke or would you rather be eating at the calf and having some money in your pocket okay when I get back from spring break I'm gonna really have to buckle down on not spending my money on food and clothes and stuff I'm gonna have to you know chill my birthday coming up spring fling coming up like it's really that time again so it's really important that you are spending and saving wisely I can make a whole separate video about this too but I'm gonna say anyway God will show you who your tribe is one thing that I feel like God has been really showing me is their rejection is your protection there is a reason why you are not close with certain people that you come across whether the Lord reveals it to you or not you know that's up to him but at the same time there really is a reason for everything God has really been showing me you know the people who are meant to be in my life and the people who will push me to my purpose who will speak life into me yes it might hurt that you know you might want a relationship with a specific person the energy isn't reciprocated or or things are just off between the two of y'all there's a reason for that and it's up to us to trust God and knowing that the people that he has aligned for our will he knows let him have the steering wheel and let him have his way in us the second to last thing that I have learned is comparison really is the thief of joy I know that it's so cliche but it really is comparison really be having you feeling like you just aren't that girl I'll see people on the Ave or I'll just see people who I go to school with and I'm just like dang like I wish I had what they had or I wish that I looked look like them or I wish I sang like them or I wish this I wish I wish I wish and God's just sitting here like you are who you are remember the person that I have made you to be the Bible literally talks about how it is foolish to compare ourselves to one another because they're using themselves as the standard of measurement and that is foolish we gotta you know remember who we are in Christ and we gotta remember I am beautiful I have this going for myself I have that going for myself who am I to wallow in self-pity when I'm that girl for real you were sometimes have to talk to yourself that way and the last thing that I've learned while being in college is trends come and go do not break your pockets trying to hop on every single clothing trend every single hair trend shoes that you're wearing now they're gonna be out of style in the next six months or so don't allow yourself to again compare spend all your money and all of this energy and time trying to be something you're not and trying to look a certain way when you really got to be content with yourself with what you have stay true to your own self and stay true to the path that you are on 
So I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Like I said, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys check out my other college related content. I'll be posting more videos soon, so please stay tuned. Also, don't forget to follow me on my other socials, which are up here and down below. God bless you guys. I love y'all so much, and I will see you next time. Mwah, bye!